picked uh, for this job. Um, they met with two military officials. They met with uh, one, the basis head of uh, of the Air Force, was the Air Force Office of Special Investigations, and another one who was the auto audiovisual director uh, named yeah the AV Club president <laughs> named Paul Shardle. <laughs> Oh, fucking Polly oh, shirts. Good, good old shirts. Polly shirts. <laughs> hey, Dude, the names, boy. the names in this one were killing me. When I heard Shardle, I was like, "What an unfortunate name." You know, they called like, them Polly shirts. Yeah, had to. Had to. What's the what's the origin of shirts? Like, was that even a like? I wonder if it's this a was, shit fart. Yeah, I know. Okay, I just making sure you do. Yeah, of all people should yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> I did ask. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mean. I didn't mean like. Oh, what? What does that mean? Together? Do you need more fucking? No. Do you need I like more detail here. When did it start being used to describe that? Is what I'm saying is like because I'm like, is this an unfortunate name in 1971, uh, or is this like, is he? Did he? Did Paul Shardle, you know, coast by? That's a good question. <laughs> right. That's cute. That's maybe. Really hey, maybe it comes from him. Maybe he's the original, uh, the original of the shirt. founder of the shark. <laughs> According to Urban Dictionary, it was started around 2001, so it, he might have been all right. He might have got yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so now, according to Emmenager and Shardle later, uh, they apparently dis they discussed a number of projects. And like, I, I believe the topics like before were like before they hit to where they were, where they finally got were more like traditional. It was kind of, you know, be about like, uh, you know, experimental aircraft or talking about like just the military in general, aircraft development, all of that kind of stuff. But apparently the the, the conversation that they had or like this production meeting ended up veering into the the uh, the area of ufos um you know talking about like you know a possibility of doing a a documentary a legitimate documentary about um ufos so which is wild this is wild uh, you know even at this point because you're thinking all right these two hollywood guys are brought in they're you know they're talking with air force base officials and they're like yeah you know you'd like to come you want to do uh, like a top gun documentary they're like yeah you know maybe that'd be fun we're like we, we, we could do it you know basic training and well, no th boys, this like, is just this is just part two of the fucking moon landing they already filmed it <laughs> they already brought hollywood in for it why wouldn't they do it again yeah and they're like you know what if you've ever heard about these ufos buzzing around they're like no it's like that's what we should do it on like you're talking with like military base officials that are like bringing this up you're like it's wild to me yeah, we had this one incident, you know, back here, and uh, we actually got footage of it. We'll show it to you. <laughs> um, what? It, yeah, that is kind of the gist of what, what happened after, because Emmenager and Sandler pretty much got the green light during this meeting saying that, yeah, we will, we will participate in this. Like, uh, you'll have guaranteed cooperation with not only the Air Force, but the Navy and the Army as well. And there was actual, uh, apparently in this meeting, according to Emmenager, there was a promise of of having genuine footage of a UFO landing at Holloman Air Force Base, which had occurred uh, two years previous to this meeting in 1971. Yeah, he had the, they had footage of like three craft that were like oscillating and one landed and actual aliens emerged and communicated with base officials for like three days <laughs> pretty wild it's, 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 it's a wild claim to even bring up to like hollywood directors that you're like oh yeah like that's what you should do and we have this it's like yeah of course this is what we're doing it on now like you know what i mean there's the question everything else is out the window as soon as you hear this you're like obviously we're doing it on this <laughs> um yeah and, and the one that the, the person who told them that they were going to be provided this 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 footage was paul shardle paul shardle um you know he was not only just the audio visual director but he was also a security manager and the um at norton air force base and so uh with his participation he kind of said that um he told emmenager that I've seen a video. I've, I've seen the video that uh, with the events that Zell described uh, occurring. That we had this actual video of a UFO from from a bit of a distance, but um, you're able to make uh, like you're out, you're able to make out quite a few details of this 
craft uh, that that landed. That was a, pretty much a set of three. So. Uh, it, to, to describe it, Shardle, Shardle was later would go on like a, it was 1988 or so in the 1980s. He went on like a live pretty much TV show um, about UFO disclosure and these things. And he was on there with Eminegger. So they were both on at the same time, which is something that is always, you know, you, if you're going to have two people on and, and one person make the claim like that, you have one person on the TV show to me and make the claim. I'm like, okay, that one person just made that claim no one to back it up but they were both in there they were both sitting down for an interview and chartle told the entire story um about what the the footage that he viewed um so uh, in his description he had these three craft which came down um uh, kind of from a distance and and were kind of in formation two of the craft were seen to be bracketing a third and this third one seemed a little bit lower and like zell described it seemed to oscillate and so to to shardle this this would seem to indicate that this this craft seemed to be having some sort of problem some type of mechanical problem or something and the craft actually ended up uh, lowering down and then, you know, decreasing in altitude and then descending onto the ground. And it landed on these three pod uh, looking extensions on the bottom of the craft. And then the other two, which were still uh, in the air and visible at the time, apparently took off like those ones just left. Then oh, uh, within that video, Shardle says that you were able to see um, some type of sliding door, sliding entrance open up. Not not only a sliding an opening door, a nice slow descending ramp. Right. Yeah. Down. Die, right. That's what we like the to see. Slow descending some, ramp. Some smoke emanating like Shh. that. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Yeah. The smoke comes out and then the figure. Oh, it's ominous. A figure appears through the smoke, human size with gray complexion, maybe a slightly pronounced nose, little slits for eyes, emerges at the bottom of this very slow. Actually, he was on the ramp, and the ramp carried him slowly down to the ground. Oh, he didn't cool. even have to walk down yeah, it. Like that. yeah, that's yeah. fucking cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Nice touch. And then, the, la and then the laser that's started up, and then... <laughs> they're dabbing didn't they? those those details may or not be correct some of the, some but i'm pretty else. sure that's what happened 100 correct some of those might be yeah <laughs> embellished might be that that was, that's part embellished. of the eight minutes of footage <laughs> uh, uh it's all ramp that's all it was yeah, well and the other ramp. interesting thing is like i mean this description of these of these creatures like zell said human size gray complexion big old noses um tight fitting jumpsuits helmets with a, um, with a jumpsuit silver it doesn't. It I, nothing say. I found said. It just said jumpsuits, but but that's pretty stereo, stereotypical of like, you know, the description. Now, one thing that was was said that was brought up. Um, I can't remember which case file is not too long ago, but the thing, the big aspect of like no chance, just a little little bird mouth, right? Little slit like entrance. bird mouth, right? Now I was curious because these things we we didn't get. We got a little slit mouth. No chins, right? I was wondering if it had the, the buck teeth. If these things had the buck teeth, like what was the case file where the guy was in the woods was it? shot the rifle? That was just a couple ago. Yeah, it was just a couple case files ago. Uh, I think it was. It wasn't the Zam. Was it? It wasn't the Zamfrida incident. No, Zamfrida was, was Italian. Higdon. Carl Higdon. Carl Higdon. That's right. Carl Higdon. Right. And these things were. If you remember, if you remember correctly, the description of these is like they had that horse hair. Right. And then they had the slits like a lot of the descriptions of these ones kind of parallel to me. Now, I wondered if the ones from Carl Higdon were maybe misdescribed, like just just by shock or whatever. But maybe where it said they had that pronounced like hair, they were just wearing helmets. Right. That's kind of what Higdon, I thought. Higdon was like fucking up close and personal with them. This is true. For a long time. <laughs> yeah. And you you want me to buy in on this? Give me a drill fist. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Another, that's another true. Interest. No no drill fist on this. But I'm saying the no chin. And this like this is a very noses. big big noses. What we call Gonzos. You, you, you said you said space juice before. We've talked about this yeah. as well, right? So I'm I'm just saying it's not it's this guys. isn't this isn't like wildly different than what like other descriptions we've had from uh you know experiencers so uh, right away i was kind of making those parallels i was like well this, could this be a similar race maybe just a different crew right 
The um, yeah, absolutely. So from Emmenegger's uh, description of the uh, of these creatures, like yes, we have the. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.